this movie is to explain the difference between base 10 and base 2. We've got two tables here. The top one has eight columns with the base 10 system and the bottom one has eight columns with the base 2 system. As you can see in the base 10 system, then the columns are composed based on the indices of 10 to the power of starting with 10 to the power of 0, which is 1. And as you go up an indice, it adds a 0 to create the next column. The base 2 system is similar, but in base 2 we only have two digits, 0 and 1. So you set out the base table the same as the base 10, with 2 to the power of, going up one number for each column. 2 to the power of 0, and each column increases the value of that column until we get to the 8th column, which is 2 to the power of 7. To use the base 2 system, you only have two numbers, 0 and 1. So you use the values in the top row to calculate how many columns you actually need. So the number I have illustrated here is the number 1. If I want to go to number 2, I would put a 1 in the second column because it represents 1, 2, and I would make that first column be 0. To make the number 9, you would put the 2 column back to 0. To make 9, I need 8 plus one. So you run along the columns until you find the highest value that you possibly can without going over. And then you go back and add on whichever numbers you need to make it up to 9. So 4 is too much, so I go back to column 1. Therefore, the binary number for the number 9 is 00001001. How the numbering system works is much easier if you actually count sequentially. So we have 1, then we have 2. To get 3, I look to the right. Is there any numbers that are not being used? Yes. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, the number for 3 is 6 zeros and 2 ones. Four, I can just use that next column, the third column. I do not need two or one, and that is four. For five, you look to the right. I need four plus one is five, so I need one of those, and that is five. Six, four plus two is six, so I'll need one, two, and no ones. And 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1, therefore I need one of each of those columns. Now unlike base 10, base 10 you would keep going till 9, and when you get to a 10, then you would move to the next column. In base 2, as soon as it, it's used, the next option is off, so it's either on or off. Let's have a look at how to make a large number. Let's say I wanted to make the number... 35. I would have 132, a 2 is 34 and a 1 is 35. So that is the number for 35. Each of these columns in binary is called a bit and 8 columns or 8 digits is a byte. It is not a coincidence but that is also the way we measure memory on a computer. So the more bytes you have, you then go up to kilobytes and megabytes, it's, it increases and that tells you kilobytes will be 1000 bytes. Megabytes is a million bytes. And that's how you do binary. It's a great way to learn, to practice a simple addition it's a great way to really understand how the base 10 system works as well.
have fun.